Hello students, the UPSC community. I welcome you all to the Didemy IS session on the prelims crash course. So we are launching at Didemy IS the prelims crash course on the subject geography. As you know, the previous 10 years has been a quite an arduous journey because comparatively the geography weightage has been stagnant enough, almost like, you know, more than 10 questions are being asked somehow related to the geography. So without neglecting this portion for your prelims examinations, Didemy IAS is bringing in front of you the series of crash course. This prelims crash course would be completed in 30 hours in which all the portions that are enlisted in front of you on the screen, like may it be the static syllabus that will cover all your 6 to 12 class NCRTs, as well as the GC Leon, which is also the most important textbook that is dealt with the UPSC pattern of examinations regarding the geography and also not neglecting the current affairs portions where somehow it is related to some or the other current affairs issue that is related to the geography portions through some form of an easy understanding through a tidbit information so that your current affairs preparation will also go in simultaneously with the static portions. And the third majorly what we want to entrust upon through this program is that the mapping of India and world, which is very, very essential for the UPSC point of view. As you all know, mapping will play a major role with respect to the international affairs or with respect to your uh, environment or any other subject is somehow interrelated. So mapping from the geography point of view will not just cover this geography subject, but it shall also cater to the other needs of the subjects which are overlapping and it is a comprehensive course, I shall tell you, from my end that would be catered through the Didemy IS platform. And moreover, you need not even worry about the previous year questions because from 2011, say Laker 2020, we will cover all the respective chapters previous year questions so that you will have confidence and an upper hand of what kind of questions UPSC is trying to ask from, right? So giving this perspective into these sessions, like what we will be catering to these crash course, through these crash course from the Didemy IS platform. Here are some of the insights that I wanted to show you regarding which uh, the UPSC has been focusing on. So in this previous slide, if you can see people here itself, you have a very, very quite understanding of 2020, say Laker 2011. How are the different kind of questions that are being asked? For example, if you see the various other portions which come under geography, one is world geography in which physical where geomorphology plays a very important role. Apart from these, there were few questions that were also asked from the Earth and Universe, like the rotation, revolution of the Earth, or the tides phenomena, and climatology, whereas inversion of temperatures and may various other phenomena may it be like a local winds or it could be anything that is related to the atmospheric phenomenal circulations and moreover the these portions whatever is there in the current of it suppose there is a kind of a super moon phenomena that occurs definitely some of the other questions relative to that from the static portions are being asked and then ozone depletion if it is on the news Oceanography, you can also see oceanography is a very budding concept where India as such is such a subcontinent which shares three sides water bodies and such is a portion importance that oceanography can never be neglected. But moreover, this oceanography uh, current affairs, if you want to understand any of the current affairs topic or you want to understand what is El Nilo, La Nina, all these concepts, whatever, or the ocean bottom topography is plays a very important role, right? And the oceanography tropic as well, various other oceans or the inland seas or the lakes or any kind of water bodies as such will be definitely essential from the mapping point of view. So not neglecting that also, we'll cover it. Indian geography part, the physical part, physiographic of India, the geographical extent, what kind of uh, uh, national waterways that were being constructed, uh, what are the national highways, which are very, very important from the perspective, uh, as well as uh, the physical, physiographic conditions like the drainage patterns and what kind of river systems that were occurred before uh, Himalayas were formed or after the Himalayas were formed, what are its tributaries, what are its 
very, very few attributes of it, which are very essential for the examinations, as well as we will also deal deliver the economic geography point of view, where agriculture, minerals, everything will be discussed in a crash course manner. I would expect that the people who are joining this program will not just be benefited for the first attempts or the people who have given multiple attempts. We will cater, we will try to cater in these 30 hours all the portions of the geographic areas where the questions were previously asked and which are likely to be asked and which are the basic static portions that UPSC expects you to have some knowledge about. Because considering the fact that I would say, if you can prepare your geography well from the prelims perspective, your mains perspective, more than 70% of syllabus will be almost done. The only thing that you need to add on is a current affairs perspective in some depth wise for your mains. Apart from it, your prelims geography will make you have a great understanding, great fodder of material for your mains preparation as well, right? So this is in total, if you see on the screen, these are the number of questions that are indirectly asked somehow or the other. Now, if we go on to the next slide, can we say that, you know, this uh, prelims previous year questions that will be discussed in through these sessions, whatever we are planning for the crash course, will, they, will it be like, you know, only previous year questions will give you a perspective of what the paper is or the questions that will come into your mind are these like what is its importance the prelims previous year questions are the pure geography questions that are being asked in the previous examinations like in the upsc as such are these uh, like completely coming from the geography perspective or only optional geography students are being able to you know, uh, mark the an answer right, or uh, how to understand this technical subject. We have NCRTs from 6 to 12. We have GC Leon. We have to do the mapping. Oh, God, this is going to be really, really hectic. Do you think so? Let it make it easier for you. We will make sure that every day of your class will be, if I cover static and the current affairs, whatever portions that are related to the static portions, if I wanted to cover, Apart from this, we'll make around 15 to 20 minutes of mapping work so that simultaneously you will get acquainted with the mapping and the static subject as well. This way, the subject will be seeming to be interesting for you. Apart from this, this will make you confident enough at the end of the course that any of the book you wanted to try your hand upon like if you want to uh, attempt some questions on the geography based any of your practice questions anything when you try to attempt it this course will give you a kind of confidence it will clear your concepts it will be a revision mostly for me people who have already dealt with the subject and people who are new to this upsc i i guarantee you through this program your major concepts will be cleared right and the, what are the questions that comes in your mind like the questions are like the previous year questions whenever you see the previous year questions if you can see and find out a pattern in the previous year questions not all questions come from directly geography few are the questions where i'll be showing in the pre subsequent slides are coming from the static portions few do come from you know uh, the overlapping subject like environment and geography dono milakar they uh, try to come up with uh, such questions there are some questions which are very specifically from the current affairs portion suppose there is some you know uh, some new highway that is uh, rolled out out through some lakes or something or uh, an animal was found dead in some of the other lakes or some dam has been demolished or a dam uh, some issue is happening between two states where dams are at a tussle or the bone of contention so these are the areas indirectly where UPSC tries to pick up the questions from the current of this so in a way these are also geography questions but you have to link it from the current perspective and understand that probably these questions can be asked so these portions also we will be covering with our lecture series and apart from this mapping will be made very easy for you people don't you worry about the mapping sessions right and now if you see some of the previous year questions here if you see this is particularly a static portion as well where you read these portions in the physiography of india the physiography of india which comes under indian geography okay indian geography as well as this portion also overlaps with the mapping so whenever we try to cover the syllabus of physiography of india i will try to simultaneously do the mapping so that easily you can mark the answer from here itself if suppose uh, any of you people uh, must have done most of you must have done the 12th class ncrt physical environment right so in that if you see the first chapter itself has a 
physical extent, geographical extent of India. On the right side of the book, NCRT book, you have a map, beautiful map, which is which is how. So it is black and white in color. But if you can identify, there is some kind of a hills that will be going in the north way, northeast to southwest direction. That is Kainurian Hills. Where is Konkan Coast? Konkan Coast in the southern portion. So when whenever you can see and strike the answer there, one of the options is easily eliminated. See, when I see the question or when my students see this question, they will only try to target the Kaimurian Hills because of the mapping that I'll be making you do too. So this Kaimurian Hills, when once you eliminate it, your deal is done with the paper. So you will save a lot of time. You will gain confidence as you move on to the next question. Did you see people how easy it is? Now the second kind of a question that are asked, that were asked in the previous examinations. This is particularly static. This is core static question. Tides do occur because of what? These are the areas that we try to neglect. There are some areas like latitudes, longitudes, or the inclination of the earth. And more so ever, 2020 May, there was a question on the summer solstice, winter solstice, equinox. All of these portions were asked in one question. Where people who have read geography thoroughly have also have failed to answer that question because of the confusion. So not neglecting even those portions, the static portion will be covered through the series. So if you see these tides here as well, even with your common sense, you can apply when there is a continuous pull on the earth, it may be in the spring tide or the neap tide position, all the three entities kind of, uh, uh, you know, there is a kind of a force that acts upon each other. So that's why logically all three should be right. So there is a trend of questions that should be answered also to be understood. Through these series, I'll make sure that, you know, previous year questions, the trend, how to mark the questions which will come as a bouncers where you don't know what to write, what to even think about. Even such questions can be easily identified and answered. Now you see this question. When this question comes into the mind, like dew drops are not found on the cloudy night, right? So cloudy night, when all these concepts come, I would uh, explain to you inversion of temperature. When I explain you the inversion of temperature, the normal lapse rate, such kind of a concepts in climatology, I will definitely tell you about something called as, you know, this uh, inversion of temperature, what happens in the night. So in the night time, it's a common thing that all whatever the radiation that comes in the morning time gets back or radiates back during the night time, right? So when it is getting back, cloud the dew drops will not be formed on such day because it is the clouds that reflect back the earth's radiation so this here itself here itself all the clouds are radiating back so the dew drops will not be able to form in the cloudy night right so this this is like you know the it's a very uh, integrative topic like temperature inversion if you read it that's a very major topic of climatology if you read that concept and try to attach the dew drops and cloudy night it is somehow related Matlab, one concept with one concept two kinds of answers can be easily done right next uh, in the next uh, this slide you can see another previous year question where here recently something has happened due to malnutrition in the ethnic war conflict this is in third part of the question where I said current affairs based questions of geography will be asked, right? Geography ka current affairs portion questions will be asked. So out of all these things, we already know that Africa is one such continent where Africa and West Asia as such are some of the areas where constant tussle of this starvation, ethnic war, cleansing, all of these things happen. So either it has to be, you know, this should not be the option. Definitely, you can eliminate it. For somebody who has thoroughly read your current affairs, definitely you can mark the answer, uh, no doubt about it. For the other people who think that, you know, where to start off and how to start off. So uh, it could be Morocco and Tunisia as such. This is also, you know, uh, the, this was a, the Umbrella Revolution, the Violet Revolution, Tulip Revolution has happened in this area. And then uh, this could be an answer or Angola and Zambia has never been any of the international affairs of recent times. So it could be two, one, one among the two. But whenever the question comes, had it, this was a recent uh, current affairs question, like 2019, I suppose, or 18. So the question at that point of time, only Sudan and Yemen, these are in conflict reasons. So much better comparatively in B and D, if you want to answer, D is the question. So this, uh, this is how you can, you know, solve the questions also. There are four pattern of questions, four pattern of questions that were asked. Is geography is linked to the environment portions. You see here, geography is related. 
sixth mass extinction ke bare mein you will read it in environment thoroughly where environment conservation and you know future conservation projects and in that topic there is an environment uh, topic of six mass extinction not just that it is also related to a geography so there are questions that are also overlapping with the environment so make sure that environment and geography goes in hand in hand while your preparation goes on right so the answer for this question is four uh, it is a very direct question like if you see the four options also one would say that you know genetic crops and all that which is outrightly wrong meteorite and earth this is at a outrightly wrong mass extinction is nothing but you use the resources so exhaustively that what will happen after few years is that extinction so extinction in the sense because of our over exploitation something should happen one is monoculture and just because of a monoculture you cannot expect something to be extinct you know go right so however if you see man's over exploitation issue this is the appropriate answer and this is the answer it's really simple i totally understand but in the exam pressure what happens is we tend to get confused among the options so this is how i say that makes your make your statics make your static syllabus make your mapping everything strong enough so that you know any kind of questions before you go to the examination whatever questions you practice from whatever book you read from you should be able to gain some confidence so through these lectures what kind of concepts i'm going to explain it to you so here if you see this is a concept of everybody knows i need not explain it to you because everybody knows this chart this is something that shows the different layers of the earth so in different layers of the earth what happens is in different layers of the earth there is a density concept where density is nothing but when i have to talk about density the concept is about mass by volume so the total air mass 1 cubic meter of volume of air okay completely how many particles that it comes as you go up or up above the atmosphere the density reduces right so if the density is reducing what is happening is the kind of pressure that is acting the kind of temperature that is acting everything is relatable to that concept so then after ending the first uh, this concept of density as the particles you know are wide enough wide enough and the density is reducing as you go up there's a concept that is related to it is called as normal lapse rate so normal lapse rate is nothing but usually what happens as you move up above the mountains you see the snow capped mountains right so what is happening the temperature here as you move every 1000 meters or 1 kilometer you have a reduction of temperature by 6.5 degrees this is the normal lapse rate but why is man saying all of these things i am telling you all of these things because the upsc previous year questions has been asked from this background so if you see this is a one of the previous year question from your upsc that has been asked like temperature decreases or the phenomena because of what so if it is like atmosphere is heated upwards from the earth surface from the earth surface it is heated of the particles yes more moisture in the upper atmosphere or more moisture here itself understand understand the question more moisture th there or in the, the upper uh, below atmosphere level okay if you are not you know confident enough with the two second option you can go to the third option air is less dense in the upper atmosphere did i say that density is reducing the particles as we move up right so obviously uh, the density is comparatively lesser in the upper atmosphere this is very 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 right so the third option will definitely be there so one option you can neglect it and then there is a uh, more moisture in the upper atmosphere obviously there are, there are temperature is reducing and the as the temperature is reducing the condensation of molecules happens so there is more moisture so this is how you see the concept using three different kinds of concepts and using it in the one question is how will make your uh, the examination pattern of questions you can easily mark it right did you understand people how to answer the questions and how these series will be uh, helping you in answers to such questions right there is a concept of temperature inversion we have a lot of uh, doubts about it we know everybody knows that in normal conditions here itself usually as we go up the temperature will reduce how much does it reduce normal lapse rate ke hisab se 6.5 degree centigrade for every kilometer fine but in temperature inversion where there is continental type of climate where uh, you know it's a location where the land masses is encircled and where there are uh, uh, where there is heated conditions or uh, where there, there is excessive temperature conditions that are happening also the such kind of an areas what happens is temperature inversion happens like long winter nights 
uh, very calm, stable winds. Uh, so these are the areas where temperature inversion happens during the night time. What happens is, I already told you the concept where in the night, in the daytime, Surya Bhagwan, all the radiation, whatever he gives on the Earth's surface, will be radiated back into the Earth's atmosphere during the night time. So when in the night time, when it radiates back, what happens is the surface here, near to the surface of the Earth, becomes really cold enough, right? The radiation that is getting back into the atmosphere, it is warm. So the, the actual situation is this, guys. Let me show you here, right? So here, what is happening? In the during morning times, all the radiation is coming from the sun. It is heating the land surface. But this is in the daytime. But in the day-night time, what happens? It's a cold, uh, it's calm, long winter nights. So it has sufficient time to radiate back. So when it is radiating back, this surface is losing more amount of heat comparatively. So it is cold. This is warm. So this kind of a layer that forms between warm when cold air is uh, the, the warm air lies above the cold air. There's a kind of a layer called as inversion layer that happens. This inversion layer will stop intermixing of warm and cold air. And this is the area where all the dust particles, everything gets clogged. When such clogging happens in the inversion layer, that is how people in Delhi or the North Belt will not be able to see early mornings that visible because the inversion layer during the night time has clogged all the dust particles. Only after morning 10 or after 12, a, 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 after noon 12, the sun, when again it rises up and clears all the inversion layer, the dust particles get separated and everything will be visible during the winters. So this is a concept of inversion of temperature, right? Based on this, there were many other questions that were asked, which was direct enough. After learning this concept, we can understand like temperature inversion or any kind of uh, atmospheric phenomena, ke mein, whatever questions can be asked, it can easily be solved, right? So I just wanted to give you a glimpse like how the classes would be going on. I would be dealing with these concepts and this is how I'll be dealing, uh, like how to explain how the previous year questions will be simultaneously solved according to the question itself. Like the syllabus can say there and then itself after the session, we'll discuss all the previous year questions also, right? And uh, traditional mapping, how do I do the traditional mapping? For that, I'll take an example. Like I'll take some picture, pictographic representation. This is how you remember. If they ask you like north to south or south to north, it, arrange the reverse, then you can easily arrange. Like if we surplus, then the, you know, this, uh, this uh, BS would be coming in between, then uh, Ravi, Chena, Jina, Jina, uh, Jilam, and Indus. This uh, Indus ka uh, pura system here. So Abhi, what we do is, we will not go very, very deep. What we will do is just two lines for every other river, which are most important. Like if suppose Jhelum ke baare mein, so Jhelum is in Verina, right? So Jhelum, Verina, Pir Panjal range, Srinagar and Moolag Lake. So whenever I give you these sessions, I would also try to make you note down some other points where Moolag Lake, whenever it comes, you have to note down in your book and simultaneously connect it to your uh, this Ramsar sites or is it a, you know, biodiversity site, whatever it is, you have to connect it with your environment portion as well. Okay, this is how you have to overlap both of the topics simultaneously. Uh, once you have read your environment, you can as well revise it here itself, right? Chinab, Chinab being the largest tributary, two rivers join at some place called Tandi and this is how Chandrabhaga River, the Chena River is also known as Ravi River, Kulu Hills, Rotang Pass, RR, Pir Panjal, and Dola, the range is kept. He say it lays down. So we did not go into depth into anything because UPSC caters to every other student. When every other average student or the intellectual or the average student, everybody has to equally solve the question. That is how it will try to frame the questions. Never go into PhD, doing PhD or depth of the question. It will just be superficial enough. You have to have a knowledge about it. BS, BS will originate in the Rotan, then Satlaj, Shipkila Pass, SS and Rakas River in the Tibet near the Manasarova areas so this is how uh, you know this is how you have to deal with the mapping and mapping uh, is uh, will be done will will be we're done with 200 percent efficiency guys not just india ka mapping the international mappings which are very important like this now if you see in this uh, site of Tar uh, caspian sea there is a trick called as tarik 
what is tarik now the countries that are surrounding the caspian sea so this is how along with me you also remember whatever is the countries that are bordering it right so this is how you can do it and in this mapping also you can see volga river that is draining where it is making a delta into the caspian then you have a black sea so we will also do the black sea the surrounding countries it's, it's here the aral sea aral sea ke bare mein already upsc has asked a question like which is a shrinking sea uh, the recently found in the current of estuaries so the, this uh, mapping will just not be you know uh, it's a, not a mechanical task of learning some uh, places and news and all that but we'll try to connect with the previous questions we'll try to connect each other also right this is how uh, it, the mapping would definitely go on so here if you see the mapping uh, this was a for 1 2 3 4 so zambezi indonesian ocean mein chalta hai ki nahi obviously it would not go zambezi somewhere in you know madagascar wahan tak so indian ocean tak aane ki koi zarurat nahi hogi because arabian sea is somehow even if it had been arabian sea we would have even had a small doubt so you could have easily eliminated two options with this and the options to things are left here so for this to understand there is a concept of mekong ganga initiative so mekong ganga initiative there is an initiative that happens so mekong ganga initiative may there are some states that for you know whether this comes under so it is named under limka tv limka tv code ke hisab se the countries that are there the initiative are uh, mentioned through this uh, like uh, laos and all these you, you see these are the mapping this is the mapping work that i'll be able to do in this sessions through which you can answer the questions easily so here is the andaman sea okay this is the andaman sea that uh, is completely gets and drains into so that's how you can easily understand right w what is the right question uh, which all to uh, un uh, which all to understand like whether this option is right or that option is right so you will not have confusion when you see through these mappings and one more add on uh, through this uh, initiative is that you know in uh, in your international affairs as well international affairs ke hisab se bhi all your portions uh, like whichever countries you are seeing here you will come come across uh, very frequently through these world mappings so your international affairs also the world mapping that is related to the international affairs also will be helpful i will not be dealing with ex exhaustively i might give you a slide about it but definitely this will be an add on for your international affairs mapping also so this is how all in all i would be catering through these series i hope you will join us and you will have a great time with us because this program will not just ensure that you know uh, your statics is covered or something it is a comprehensive program guys it's a comprehensive program where geography from the static portion where you need not read your ncert is anything because everything that will be covered from those areas and which are the areas from the previous year questions where upsc has been frequently asking questions the mapping everything will be covered a to z will be covered and this is what the program is going to cat cater to you so below this video description box me everything the details and the you know the payment and the registration details will be provided so i hope you will join us and you will have a happy learning until then be safe at your homes and try to excel all the best for your examinations good luck